layer number 5 is the session layer. So, this session layer is going to the role of the session layer is session management and token management. Session management that means suppose I want to communicate with uh, say X then my session layer will maintain the session management like at what time I am establishing a connection with X and how much information I am sending or I am receiving. So, it is going to as a, a log record, it is going to maintain a log record for every communication between a user and other user. Okay, that is the meaning of session management. So, how long I am communicating with X? How many packets or how many messages or how much information I am sending and how much information I am receiving? Okay, so that is amount of data that is being exchanged between me and X. It is going to take care of that log record. At what time my communication has started with X? And at what time it ended, my communication is closed with X. So, that session duration. How many units of time we have communicated or I have communicated with X. So, likewise the information will be maintained by the session layer and the amount of data. Okay. So, it is going to take care of at what time the session is started, at what time it is closed. So, how, how far they have communicated and how much information they have exchanged, all these details will be maintained by the session management. It is similar to, so if the moment, suppose if I am calling my friend X and after speaking with X, so I can see how many seconds I have communicated with X or how many minutes I have communicated with X. So, that is the log record, the session management or session is layer is going to take care of. Then the token management means suppose if multiple uh, requests, so who has to start first? Likewise, the token management. So these are the basic functions of the session layer. Okay. Now, so this is this is the receiver uh, sender side session layer and receiver side session layer. Now the session layer is a layer five will receive the information from the layer six. Whatever is received is as a complete unit. If that information is bigger than the session layer which we can handle that much amount can be broken into multiple parts then so it is going to add its own header, its own header. So this header consisting of so what type of protocols are involved in this processing of this particular one that is for synchronizing protocols that means to maintain at what time the session starts at what time session ends, how long they have communicated, all that information will be maintained in this header part. Okay, each information before it is moving, at what time it is starting, it is what time it is leaving this layer, at what time it has arrived this layer. So, how much time it has taken from this to this and reply from this to this. So, likewise log record will be maintained. Then that will be handed out to the layer 4 transport layer. So, here it is not L5, it is L4. Okay, that is the main task of the session layer.